What do you think, man? Should we turn around? Yeah, let's turn around. I say we just go for it. Don't do it. It's only salt water. Don't do it. I'm gonna go for it. This is the pool you're looking for if you're looking for instructions online to find this place. And the address is going to be over there. So uh, don't go over there. It's on the other side of the road. So first impressions, it looks like there's a lot of unmarked graves here but plenty of uh, marked ones left. That was a young one. That's sad. This looks like there's little stakes everywhere. Somebody's been doing some research and finding out where everybody was buried. Not sure if this was upgraded at some point or if somebody paid for a fancy one, but it's been a wealthy individual. So this is a little disturbing that a tree came down at one point. Hopefully not exposing anything. Hopefully there's no little hand bones, finger bones in there. Funny bones. This person got the edge. This little fancy area it's pretty sad as well because I'm not seeing any markings on it and this looks like a family burial plot it's just sad that totally forgotten at least by family members scared the shit out of me. Oh boy. <laughs> Dude, I ran like a bitch. That was a whole top of a tree over there. Yeah. Maybe it's haunted. So we picked a pretty terrible day to be coming out here. This wind is nuts. And uh, I was over there filming in a tree branch or a top of a tree broke off or something. And I started running for my life. We're gonna go hunt for some chanterelles next. So 
stay tuned for that should be awesome guarantee you we'll find some So it's not just a no trespassing sign. People have houses back here they live in and they own this property. So it would be incredibly rude to go in there. We're gonna see what we can get from the road here. I'll have to get some chanterelles. got all my gear on and hopefully there's no hunters because I'm not wearing the uh, proper attire for uh, hunting season anyways off we go just right away as we're coming up we find some white chanterelles we're looking for the yellow ones but these ones a little antique past their prime but, uh, yeah would have been delicious about a week ago. First one of the season. Nice little beauty. I'll have to find some more. All right, we spotted these just off the trail, which is always convenient. Look at these bad boys. This one got knocked over. A little, a little old, it's still good. They're always a little dirty. Uh, this one's really nice right here. Got a nice down. I forgot my mushroom knife today, so. Don't cringe if I'm breaking them off at the root. Look at that. Look at that pretty girl. Mm-hmm. We got over there. Oh, the tree rooting away. They're a little soggy. At least this one. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if that one's worth it. Yeah, a little bit antique. Yeah. Uh, it looks like there's a nice one back there. Though. Yeah, there is. There's a couple. Of them. So of course, after that first patch we found, we've been looking for another probably 20, 25 minutes now. Nothing. It's just the way it goes. Kind of out in the thick of it right now, so. Hope I don't get lost. All right, well, uh, John came out with a pretty good haul. I only found a couple more after those two. Uh, a couple of them were a little gross, but that's what we ended up with. He's got about two or three times as much as me. But that's just the way it goes. I'm happy. I had fun. Sun's starting to come out. It's been raining like a mud all day. All right, we uh, found a place right on the side of the road, so promptly pulled over. Let's see what we got. It's been sitting since 2001. Let's see if there's any skeletons in there. I'm here to check out this dump. Almost got stuck in the mud coming in here. Look at that. What do you think? <laughs> Looks like a shack. This looks uh, like it wasn't up to code. 
Yeah. Are these the support beams here? <laughs> I think that's all that's holding it up. Oh no, it's on it's on metal beams. It's mobile. Oh yeah. Oh look at that mold growing on that insulation. This is one I'm not getting in. Holy shit. This is a mobile home. Didn't really look like it pulling up. I'll find some chanterelles in here. They are in the area. Where they be. Good golly. Looks like some shit kids had a field day in here. Yep. Well, you can't uh, ever ever pass up a opportunity to explore an abandoned property, especially with a nice crusty structure on it. I'm gonna see what's going on with this old uh, shed here. Yeah, you know, it's a, someone's house up that road. Yeah. Dang, this is a swamp, dude. <laughs> Where's the door? The door's it's the front. The yeah. We'll go to the other side. Well, whoever lives down the way, they don't have any power right now. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to step in that water. But uh, there's the garage, nothing special. Not missing any garage full of antique cars or anything. Not that I would have expected it this dumb. Ooh, there's a the power line right there. Or that's probably communication. Guess they can't call the police. Uh, Looks like we're getting in. She's locked. Hey. So we went around front and we found a sign and it said that this was an old trout farm. Apparently it was 20 cents an inch. And there's an old pond back there. That's probably why it's such a swamp over here. That'll be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the cemetery, the chanterelles, and the shack. And the murder victim car. What do you think, man? Should we turn around? Yeah, let's turn around. I say we just go for it. Don't do it. It's only salt water. Don't do it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm not going for it.